my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and today we are going to do an akashic record reading we're going to look at the foundation of the contract between you and your person the current lessons being learned where your eyes are um with regard to this contract exactly where you are currently um the highest outcome from this contract um a year from now and then the highest outcome overall depending on the trajectory that you're now um, heading in in the extended we'll look at the karmic contract and see what spirit wants to show us about that so let's get into this reading i'll be using the akashic tarot and it's not like the regular um 78 piece uh right away or right away based decks um so some of the cards are going to be interpreted differently um, as I see fit. It's 62 cards actually. So let us get into this. And this is also a reading that I offer privately. All right, so we have the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords ordinarily means conflict, but here it says diversity. So it's about exploring different avenues, it's, ex it's about um, looking at different parts, it, talk, it can talk about strategy, all right? Different parts to the same um, outcome or destination. All right, so let's see what Spirit wants to tell you about the contract, all right? What Spirit thinks is most relevant that you know I'm at this time. All right, so we have the waterfall in reverse, and it's the Six of Wands in reverse, like a living in ego card um we have the hilarion which is the akashic library card number five that's a hierophant we have the king of pentacles in reverse and we have add some and add some all is all about all community especially our spiritual community or support spiritual support all right, so what am I getting from this lineup? So what I'm getting is that the plan was that when you guys incarnate and you guys link up with your family of origin, your original family, um, whatever, down, whatever templates you download there would be templates that would cause you to have at least both of you guys you guys are parallel in each other all the time you're mirroring each other all the time right would cause you guys to have a skewed or interesting relationship with the material world right so very much operating in lack mentality um perhaps workaholism perhaps hoarding um perhaps you know you know, the, the 3D, the accolades, the accomplishments, especially financial accomplishment, accomplishments um, would be the hallmark of this family, right? You have to have something tangible to say that you are somebody, right? You are somebody. And you're only somebody when you've accomplished things in the material world. That is the message that, you're down, that you guys downloaded, that you're only valuable when you have amassed things whether that's a home it's a car it's you know your educational accolades whatever it is right you're only somebody when you are achieving that's what you guys learned um and it looks like as well that that achieving became your deity your god let's let's call it very loosely um, that became your source, source of validation, source of power, um, part of your identity, very closely identified um, with that and prevented both of you guys from moving with the flow that will naturally arise out of your intrinsic passions, your creativity, um, your path, right? So Spear saying this, is, this was all part of of the plan that you guys would download this template and it looks like your whole life in this particular life is to be consumed with 
transmuting that template and coming out of that poverty consciousness and reconnecting with source and not just source that is outside of yourself, but source that is within yourself. And to recognize that the 3D community, which you closely identified with um, in terms of your family, <clears throat> sometimes they don't know or don't always know um, what's best for you. And they, they aren't always the best source um, of advice or the best example um, to follow. Right? That it looks like you know, that's why you guys, this, was, this is the foundation of the contract, right? And maybe this is a part of the contract that you guys are working on right now, trying to figure out who you are without the 3D trappings, right? Getting down to the essence, the real source of who you are, who you are without the accolades, who you are without the car, without the house, without who you are, and seeing the value in that, the real value um, of yourself and seeing the real value of your counterpart right that's what i'm getting all right so let's ask spirit what are the current lessons or blessings <clears throat> being experienced on this path at this time right so because of all of that you guys take yourself out of the flow the natural flow the natural order um, of things by pursuing um these false trappings and you're doing that from a false sense of yourself and who you are. And this life, you're meant to find your real value. Um, and it could be that maybe part of your real value is your health. Okay. Or you really are. You might be a healer. Right. All right. So what's what's been currently learned here? Um divine feminine um we have greco-roman period and for some reason i'm thinking drama the arts creativity and the inspiration um that comes to drive that creativity so maybe for divine feminine you might be focused on some kind of creative talent um at this time maybe it's something that you've kind of put in the back of your mind or you put on the wayside whilst you pursue what what society told you that you needed to pursue in order to be somebody. It looks like you're revisiting these things, these things that you used to do as a child. So maybe as a child, you put on plays or you, you danced or um, you wrote books. Oh, I have a nephew. Such amazing stories. He's only 11. And such amazing stories that he writes. So, you know, maybe that's what you used to do as a child. I remember as a child, I used to pretend that I had my own talk show <laughs> in front of the mirror and i'll say oh, today i'm going to teach you how to put on lipstick of course i'm applying my mother's lipstick i'm going to teach you how to put on your lipstick so you on cap the bottom blah, 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 blah. and i had this whole show going on <laughs> in front of the mirror right so maybe there's something that you're revisiting that you used to do as a child that is going to bring you so much joy now or you're meant to do, to revisit now and maybe even monetize, but the money is secondary. It's all about pursuing your passion and figuring out like, what are you naturally good at? Maybe it's saying whatever it is, or maybe just like creating different things with your hands, whatever it is, it looks like you are revisiting that at this time. There's some sort of inspiration that is going to come. Divine masculine. We have vows. Okay. So <clears throat> when I say vows, I always talk like vows of poverty, vows of chastity. Um, I have a whole vows revocation meditation on my website, but it could be that your person has made some sort of heavy duty commitments that they find themselves in. Now, the thing with vows, vows can also um, persist through time and space. So these vows that might be hindering your person or influencing your person right now, it might even be past life vows um, that they are grappling with at this time, right? But whatever it is here, it looks like 
It's something that they're committed to, something that they're devoted to, but something that they might be questioning because I'm looking at the tilt of her face there and it's like, hmm, <laughs> all right. All right, so I'll pull cards on that. Let me get some cards now from the healing cards. Let's see what else you guys are dealing with at this time. Okay, so we have the initiation. So this is some sort of new beginning and uh, an, an upgrade or portal. Yeah, look at here, and, and it's all destined. Okay, it's all destined. We also have this holding on card. So I feel like what might be blocking um, some of these upgrades from coming in is you holding on to all versions of yourself or all ideas about who you should be and what you should be doing. I had such a lovely epiphany yesterday. Let me see if I'm supposed to share it. All right. What you're also grappling with is this independent conspiracy. Now, the independent conspiracy is really hypervigilance, right? Um, what am I saying hypervigilance? Hyperindependence. Maybe it's hypervigilance that you're dealing with. But really, um, hyperindependence. You know, you don't need anybody. You're going to go it alone. You don't even know how to ask for help. You kind of isolate yourself. Um, that kind of thing. And it comes from a place of not being able to trust others to show up for you. Okay? Or not being able to trust others, period. Right? <laughs> period. Point blank, period. Right? <laughs> right? And that might run contra to... Another um, deep-seated desire that you may have to have someone who's there for you, who has your back to share life with, that kind of thing. So there's some kind of conflict here that Spirit is calling you to resolve. And Divine Masculine. Okay, so we have this Jonah conspiracy. And this is about running away from your destiny. Okay. So again, you know, spirit keeps bringing them back to the fork in the road to see what they choose this time. And maybe they've been here many times, right? Many times. And they always choose the path of least, res least resistance and it, it sends them back into the next karmic cycle. So spirit has them here again and they're being asked, okay, what do you choose this time? Do you need another go around <laughs> or are you going to go on path? All right. So let's get, let me just get a tarot deck and just clarify this okay this is one of my favorite decks tarot of Atara. it's just beautiful artistry And we have the lovers. All right. Spirit tells about this Greco-Roman card. And we have the nine of swords. Overthinking, depression, anxiety, worry. And we have the five of wands in reverse and it looks like she's creating something like some pottery or something like that so spirit is saying that um you might find yourself um or you might you might find some sort of peace of mind okay or some kind of outlet from for your thoughts um through some sort of creative activity wh whatever it is right um, you're going to find a lot of groundedness there. And maybe you are finding a lot of groundedness there through some sort of, sort of creative activity. Let's see this independent conspiracy, this hyper-independence. 
okay we have the fool i'm in reverse because you're afraid of being made a fool of you know you're afraid of being foolish and maybe um in the past maybe that's what happened right you put your trust in people and maybe they disappointed you so you really guard your space um and your peace of mind now but you know that guardedness yes it it may protect you but it might also be keeping wonderful people um out of your life and and preventing you from having those intimate connections that you do want let's see this vows divine masculine all right we have judgment right so they're calling judgment on these vows here okay it looks like they're kind of second guessing um the choices that they have made um in the past and then what they've committed themselves to we have the two of swords in reverse and the two of swords me go in reverse goes to the ace of swords so that's about getting clarity on the things one may have committed themselves to and it feels like a person's realizing that it's a kind of not love situation there's no love here whatever they've committed themselves to they have no passion or love for it so this could be even a work contract it doesn't have to be with a person it could even be a work contract and they realize you know i have fallen out of love um with this job maybe i never loved it in the first place maybe i love the money maybe i love the prestige but maybe i just never loved the job so that's what they're realizing too so everybody's trying to get aligned to what they love, what they enjoy, and what they're passionate about. We have the Jonah conspiracy. We have the moon. So they're trying to tap into their intuition to make the right choice. And I say the right choice because really it's kind of destined choice. But there's never any wrong choice because whatever route you take, eventually it's going to lead you back to um, the lessons that you need to learn. You can choose whether those lessons are going to be tough lessons or lessons that you're, you're in a part of flying colors, right? So they're there again, and they're trying to tap into their intuition to figure out um, what path to choose. Now, let me tell you, your person hates the unknown. They can't deal with uncertainty. So sometimes they'll rather be with, rather be or choose the devil that they know and maybe stay in an end dead-end job rather than you know explore something different than something new so this was for you might be a no-brainer so this this is a, a, a challenge for a person because they were programmed to choose certainty all the time right and, and choose what is familiar i mean i'm a nerd sign i know what that is about <laughs> oh my goodness okay so let's see um, where you guys are going to be um, a year from now in this contract. We have 14 in reverse. It's the initiation of Conjurman in reverse. It's an initiation that's temperance. And we have the karmic trench in reverse so that's coming out of a karmic cycle um there a karmic cycle of running away from one's true calling or run away from this your spiritual gifts and an initiation that was coming through and your person we have birth Okay, so certainly they could be starting something new. For some of them, they may actually birth a child, birth a new relationship, birth a new job, because children are about projects. And then we have setting your course on the Three of Swords. But whatever that birth, which, what, whatever, this birth that is to come, um, it is going to be born out of the pain of another situation. Right? Something ends that gives rise to this birth here. So let's pull some cards and let's see what ends. Spirit tells about this Saint Germain card in reverse. It fell on the ground. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. Yo, know, moving into self-love, the things that you enjoy. Okay, and Queen of Pentacles. Um, and just being so grounded and enjoying your life. And let's see this karmic trench in reverse. 
right? Closing off a karmic cycle and gaining clarity. And let's see this birth for your person. We have the Ten of Wands, right? So it looks like all these obligations or the, all these things that made them um, feel so burnt out and overwhelmed, it looks like they say goodbye um, to that and set their course for something different, something new, and something that they're passionate um, about. So something ends for something to be born and something that they're more passionate about. What is the highest outcome for this connection um, based on the current trajectory of things? Highest outcome in this lifetime. Um, we have the two of swords in reverse, two worlds in reverse. So that talks about the amalgamation of two parts into one. And we have the fated meeting. Okay. And this is union energies. So this is about moving forward together and two worlds um, coming together to create one path forward. So the highest outcome based on the current trajectory is union. So whatever you are doing is what you're meant to be doing and you need to continue doing. Um, you need to follow the guidance that you're receiving at this time because all roads lead to this union energy all roads lead there and the amalgamation of one path forward for the both of you guys okay all right um in the extended i'm gonna do this for um the karmic connection but before i leave you let's see what spirits things should be your next move um, in this connection. We have the spring rain cleansing, renewal, and metaphor metamorphosis. So it looks like this is a really powerful time, a time full of change, you know, um, and possibilities, new possibilities. Okay. The witching hour, spirit work, mystery, and the unknown. So I think for a lot of you, um, all roads right now lead to reconnecting with your spiritual self your psychic development your spiritual work spirit path harnessing your spiritual energy let's see the witching hour here it is let my heart be still a moment and this mystery explore the exact time of the witching hour varies from culture to culture but most commonly indicates the hour between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. No lie. <laughs> the idea that mysterious and supernatural events were more prevalent at that time most likely stems from the belief that the barrier between the physical world and the spiritual realm was thinnest during this hour. Therefore, spirits, both good and bad, could pass over from the spirit world into a physical world. For many indigenous and pagan cultures, it is... It is a time when the earth is silent and still, and the whispers from our intuition and spirit guides can be heard without the disruptive buzz of daily life. When the witching hour reveals itself in a reading, it is a call to focus on opting or manifestation game. The collective conscious is attempting to establish a connection, and we must be still if we hope to receive the message. Oftentimes, when we wake up abruptly during these wee hours of the morning, we are being called by the mysterious unknown to tap into our inner magic. In witchcraft, awakening at 3 a.m. is a direct call from the fifth element, the ether or spirit. In Christianity, it is often thought to be a call from God. The energy or deity we choose is of no regard. What matters is a message. And if we listen closely, we might hear them whisper, Now is the time, now is the hour. Ours is the magic. Ours is the power. So spirit is saying, and you see she's in this meditation pose. 
right? Spirit is saying that right now, whoever you are, your spiritual helpers, your guides, whatever deity um, that you'll recognize, they are trying to communicate to you right now. And this information can only be received in the stillness of the spirit. So right now, it's about creating peace in your life. Um, it is about being mindful, engaging in meditative practices, whether you're in your peer, prayer room or you're in a couch, zenning out or on a mandal on the floor, whatever it is. Spirit and you have to take time during the day to be still so that you can receive the messages that you need to receive. At this time, they are trying to guide you forward, but their, spirit, their message is not going to get through if you your mind is run a mile a minute and thinking about what you're going to cook for dinner. Okay? I'm enough. So if you're interested, you can join me next time. Then I'll do this reading for the Karmic Connection. My lovers, thank you so much for interacting with my video, for leaving comments down below, for just watching. Thank you so much. It does so much for my channel and it helps our community expand and grow. Take care.